Hello gladiators, welcome back to the Office Gladiator page. We're taking a deep dive today into the trials and tribulations experienced by our newest warriors in the work arena. The maze of corporate structures to the battleground of work-life balance. We're unpacking it. Don your armor, sharpen your swords, and hit that like, share, and subscribe button to join the tithe. Stay tuned as we dive into the real-life case studies in the workplace. Gen Z, those born between 1997 and 2012, are the newest addition to the workforce. They're bringing with them fresh perspectives, innovative ideas, and a digital-first mindset. But like every generation before them, they're also facing their own unique set of challenges. One of the most common issues Gen Z encounter is the lack of experience. They're fresh out of school or college, eager to make their mark, but often find themselves struggling to navigate the complex dynamics of the workplace. Imagine being a young professional, brimming with ideas but lacking the practical know-how to implement them. It's like being a sailor with a map but no compass. You know where you want to go, but you're not quite sure how to get there. Then, there's the difficulty in communicating with older colleagues. The generational gap can sometimes feel like a chasm. The language, the references, even the humor, it can all feel a bit alien. Imagine trying to build a bridge over a river, but the materials you have are from a different era. It's not impossible, but it does require extra effort and understanding from both sides. Let's not forget the struggle to balance work and personal life. In a world where the line between the two is increasingly blurred, Gen Z are grappling with setting boundaries. They're the first generation to grow up with smartphones and social media, technologies that have made it harder to switch off. It's like being on a seesaw, trying to find that perfect equilibrium, but the weight keeps shifting. Think about Sam, a recent graduate who was excited to join a well-established company. He soon found himself overwhelmed by the corporate jargon, the unspoken rules, and the expectation to be always on. Or consider Lily, who found it difficult to connect with her older colleagues and often felt misunderstood. As we can see, Gen Z face unique challenges in the workplace, but with understanding, support, and a little bit of patience, these hurdles can be overcome. After all, every generation has its struggles, and it's these struggles that ultimately shape us, mold us, and prepare us for the future. Let's take a look at our first case study, a Gen Z named Alex. Now, Alex is a bright, innovative thinker, brimming with fresh ideas, but he's been struggling with a common issue among his generation in the workplace, communication gap. Alex found himself often misunderstood by his older colleagues. He communicated in a way that was natural to him, using brief, concise messages, often through digital platforms. He felt this allowed him to express his ideas clearly and efficiently. However, his older colleagues were more accustomed to detailed, face-to-face -face conversations or lengthy email threads. They found his style of communication abrupt and lacking in depth. This generational difference in communication styles led to a few hiccups. Misunderstandings cropped up. Alex's ideas were overlooked because they weren't presented in a way his colleagues could fully grasp. This not only affected his work performance, but also strained his relationships with colleagues. His efficiency was mistaken for impatience, his brevity misinterpreted as disinterest. But it wasn't just about the medium or the style of communication. Alex also struggled with the unspoken rules, the subtle nuances of workplace communication that his older colleagues seemed to navigate effortlessly. For instance, he found it challenging to decide when to speak up in meetings or how to give feedback without appearing confrontational. To address these issues, Alex had to step out of his comfort zone. He started observing his colleagues, picked up on their communication habits, and adapted his approach to bridge the gap. He began to understand that effective communication is not just about conveying ideas, but also about building relationships, fostering trust, and creating an environment where everyone feels heard and valued. Alex's story is not unique. Many Gen Z struggle with similar communication issues. Their innovative minds, teeming with fresh ideas, are often misunderstood due to generational differences in communication styles. But remember, bridging this gap is not just the responsibility of our Gen Z. It's a two-way street that requires understanding, adaptation, and patience from all sides. 
Now, let's shift our focus to another Gen Z, Sophia. Sophia, like many of her peers, finds herself in the delicate dance of balancing work and personal life. Fresh out of college, she stepped into the corporate world with high hopes and a desire to make a mark. However, she quickly found that the road to success was not as straightforward as she'd imagined. While Sophia's dedication to her job was commendable, it started to take a toll on her personal life. Long hours at the office, coupled with the expectation to be available around the clock, left little room for relaxation or self-care. She found herself in a constant state of stress, with her mind always on work, even when she was physically away from it. The pressure to perform was intense, and she felt the weight of it every day. The higher-ups in her company didn't seem to understand her need for a work-life balance. To them, productivity was paramount, and everything else was secondary. But Sophia, like many Gen Z, values her personal time and mental health just as much as her professional success. Lack of understanding from her superiors about her need for work-life balance started to affect her mental health. She felt burnt out, exhausted, and undervalued. Her work became a source of dread rather than fulfillment. Sophia realized that she was not alone in this struggle. Many of her peers were going through the same thing. In the face of these challenges, Sophia decided to take a stand. She started setting boundaries, prioritizing her mental health, and advocating for a more balanced approach to work. She realized that she was more than her job, and it was okay to take time for herself. Her journey wasn't easy, and she faced pushback from her superiors, but Sophia stood her ground knowing that her well-being was worth fighting for. She learned that balancing work and personal life is not just about time management, but also about setting boundaries and standing up for oneself. Sophia's story illustrates the struggle many Gen Z face when trying to balance work and personal life. These real-life case studies give us a glimpse into the struggles Gen Z face in the workplace. We've walked through the maze of challenges they face, from feeling misunderstood to grappling with a work-life balance. It's crucial for us to comprehend these issues, not just for the sake of understanding, but to foster a workplace that thrives on diversity, inclusivity, and respect. Let's take a moment to revisit the key takeaways. We talked about the struggles of Gen Z and how they often feel like they are walking a tightrope, balancing their drive for success with their desire for authenticity delved into the communication gap that exists, not because they don't want to communicate, but because the means of communication often don't align with their preferences. Finally, we touched on the balancing act between work and personal life. For Gen Z, work isn't just about earning a paycheck. It's about finding a purpose, making an impact, and still having time for themselves and their loved ones. Understanding and addressing these issues isn't just the right thing to do, it's smart business. A harmonious workplace is a productive one. In a world that's constantly changing, we need to be adaptable, empathetic, and open to new perspectives. So gladiators, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more workplace tips and information. Knowledge is power, and understanding the struggles of Gen Z in the workplace can help us all become better colleagues and leaders.